Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a really, really good Christmas. So we are in the new year, which means one thing, it's time to get my new planner out. So I went for the uh, classic modern marble and I went for that because obviously I love marble and it's got a rose gold coil and it's kind of got gold foiling throughout the planner and I went with this one in the end because if I just quickly flip to a page um, on the week view the weekend isn't colour blocked and it was in my other planner and it wasn't like really irritating or annoying it was just that it never really went with my spread and it was only these two that was colour blocked and I kind of, I just didn't like it, so I went with this one purely because it's not colour blocked. So that's my reason behind this. Um, and as we are in a new year, let's get to January. I thought I would try and do monthly spread. So I never decorated my monthly view before. I just used to leave it plain, and this is where I would like mark down everything that was happening. But I thought I would give it a go with a monthly kit. Now I've already messed up because when I bought this kit, as you can see, it says 2017 and we're in 2018. So already a major fail, but you know, that's that's kind of how I am. Let me just grab this out. So this kit is from Plan Gorgeously and she's on Etsy, so I'll leave her link down in the description box. Let me just zoom you guys in so you can see it. Make sure you're focused. There we go. Um, so this is all like completely new to me. I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> So you can all like give me advice down in the comments But if you are interested in these I will put them up at the beginning of each month and just title them Hello, whatever month we're in obviously because this one's called Hello January So here you've got your top washi. Let me flick to the page as well. That might be a good idea So you've got your top washi your date dots and then there's lots of different icons here a rescheduled some page flags and little round icons You've got lots and lots of kind of washy strips and then you've got four full boxes and then here you've got four bill dues. I do have more than four bills due in a month but we'll just kind of figure that out. You've got the scalloped labels and then some headers and then down here you've got some checklists. And then the last page is, well this would go on the dates that aren't got dates in in the planner but because this was for last year's it kind of doesn't fit, it's just these three that I need it for and if I trim it down it's going to take off the writing so I'm going to figure that out in a minute <laughs> and then you've got some deco so let me just get all these together it feels so weird being in a completely different planner okay, focus you again so I'm going to change that to a number 8 and it's just kind of like lesson learnt so far but you know it happens for the best of us I'm just going to make that into kind of an 8 I'm such an idiot I think it's because I was excited to start doing these and I kind of saw this kit and I liked the artwork and I was like oh yeah that would be perfect didn't really pay attention to the um, date. My bad. Okay. So I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. So I'll be putting this one down. Which obviously goes along here. This is my first sticker in my new planner. Can we all just take a minute? Okay, so that's that one down. And then put this one down. Try not to smudge that eight. Ooh. There we go. Um, I have thought about doing monthly kits in my shop now that I want to do monthly, um, but they would be like happy planner size because I don't have an Erin Condren, I wouldn't be able to check the sizes and the monthly views for an Erin Condren and a happy planner are like different. So let me know if you also plan monthly and if you would like to see monthly kits from me and my shop. So this, I think I'm just gonna have to put it over number 31 and we'll just put the date down there as number 31 because otherwise I'm gonna end up trimming it off and I don't want to lose the writing. Oh my god, is this like exact? Do I have to be exact? Oh my goodness. Don't drip. I'm actually going to stick this on the back of my hand like this because it's super, super sticky. 
and I just want to take some of that stickiness off. Okay. So if you guys haven't seen yet, I did put up a planner thrip, flip, <laughs> flip through of last year's or my plan in my old planner. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can go and check that out. So I started planning, I think it was in April, I think, and then I started uploading in June. So it was really funny to look back at my first spreads and they were not the best. Well, I hadn't really figured out my planning style, so that's what I say. So this one up here is blank as well, so I'm just gonna choose one of these. I think I might do the little champagne and glasses. I hope you guys had a good New Year's too. Let me know down in the comments what you've done for New Year's Day. For New Year's Eve even, not New Year's Day. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so these little headers are for the New Year's. Which is up there. And then we've got, this is M-L-A-K Jr. Oh, Martin Luther King. That's four. We'll put that down here. And then the other one is Chinese New Year, which I don't need to worry about putting in, I don't think. Um, okay, so how do we start this off? I think I'm gonna do the date dots last because they look like they are gonna take forever to put in. So, what well, I know on the fourth, my children go back to school. Is there a back to school? No. But I might use an escalloped one. And I'll put that up here. So that will be back to school. I have a bill due on the 12th. So I'll put that in. This is all completely new to me. Um, oh, I also have four bills due on the 26th. And I've got three left. Unless I use one of these. Do they fit in there? No. Um, hmm. Well, I'll just put two on one, I think. So we'll put this one down at the bottom. If I put two on there, and then I'll put two on this one. Oops. Okay, so that's my bill dues. I've got a payday as well on this day. Is there a payday sticker? Um, um, oh, there's a little pay icon symbol. Hmm, I need a bit of washi. I'm going to use a gold strip. And I'll just put that in there with the little pay symbol. Okay, um, and then for the sidebar, I don't have any birthdays in January. January is like my only clear month of birthdays, so I won't, don't need to do birthdays. I put my goals in there, I put my bills in there, sorry, so I'm going to do goals uh, with a little checklist, because it's always good to set yourself some goals. I'm going to start, do I start from top or bottom? Oh goodness. Um, hmm. Oh no, what do I do? There's no header or anything. Oh no, I don't know. But it's going to start from the bottom because I don't know what I'm doing. I promise these will get better as I get used to what I'm doing. That would be for goals, and then what else do I want to track in my sidebar? Um, oh, I could track sales from my shop, that's a good idea. I've also got deco to use. Um, right, okay. Let me put in... Now I have new releases on every Friday, and there's only two Etsy symbols, but I could use as well, hmm, hmm, I could use, 
Oh Laura, you should have gone through all of this before I even hit record, shouldn't I? Let's put another one of these in the sidebar because I'm pretty sure I'm going to want another one. Just put that there. I might as well just fill up the sidebar really because these don't fit, do they? No. I'm just going to fill up this sidebar. And I'll just put a bit of washi over that bit that says notes. I almost feel like I'm back new to planning and I'm not sure what I'm doing and everything's kind of everywhere. Um, well, we could put some full boxes in. So I might put this one over on the 24. And then I've got this one, this black one. Which I will put on the 14th. And then this one with the little girl on and her dress I will put on the 20th. Which you can't see because I didn't look up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed through me putting the dots on because I'm pretty sure that's going to take forever. Yeah. So I'm going to speed through that and then I'll be back and hopefully I'll know what I'm doing a bit more. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the date dots. I do have a bill due on the 1st, which is for water, so I've got one bill left, so I'll put that in here, and I'll put it down at the bottom. And then I have a payday every Tuesday, one, two, there's five, I've got, oh I used one over here, so let me pick this one up from here and I will just write payday in that bit. I have a payday every Tuesday. Put these in. I haven't actually got that many plans. My plans tend to fill up throughout the month, so I'll make sure I keep hold of this and then kind of add to it as and when plans pop up. Go in here. One thing that's not going to be in any of these plans is decorating because I've had enough of decorating even though the kids want me to decorate their bedrooms, but that's not happening this month. <laughs> okay, so that's all of those. And then I upload a plan with me every Monday. So let's put a plan with me symbol in. This is like a little YouTube symbol. They're kind of hard to see because they're light gray. Let me zoom you in. They're light gray, but they've got white symbols on. Is that focused? I think so. You can't really see it. They're quite hard to see. Um, but I am kind of excited to have a look around for more monthly kits because, like I said, I've never planned in a monthly spread before. So it's nice to have something new to look for on Etsy, if that makes sense. And maybe design for my shop. Okay, so... Whoops. That's all of my YouTube uploads, my paydays, my bills are down, and I haven't got any packages due this month, well, so far, because you, you know, I'll probably make an Etsy order, like here, and have bills due. Bills? I mean, packages due. Um, I think that's pretty much it then. Yeah. So I think if you guys want to ask a question or want to know something then if you leave it in the comments and then I can answer your questions while I'm putting the date dots down rather than either me put it in fast motion or just sit in silence while I'm fiddling about the stickers so it can be a kind of monthly plan with me slash answering your questions if that sounds like something you want to do then leave me a comment and a question down below and I will answer them in February's monthly plan with me as far as the deco goes I'm not sure if I'm going to use any because this year I'm trying not to go deco crazy. 
but it's so pretty I kind of want to use it. But I don't think I'm going to because I don't actually know where it would fit unless I take up some of the boxes and I don't want to do that in case there's some plans that turn up. And I've got lots and lots of washi left, I've got headers left, some scalloped labels, one checklist and then some icons and page flags and things which I will probably use throughout the month as my kind of plans fill up. But that was it really for this month's spread. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you look forward to my Hello Monthly spreads. Like I said, if you've got any questions, then leave them down below. It can be about me, it can be about planning, it can like literally be about anything. It doesn't have to be planner related. Any questions you want to ask me, then pop them down below and I will see you I'll see you next week but I will see you in February. I will just take one piece of deco and just stick it down here because then it just finishes that off nicely.